It's Road Trip Trivia Week, and I've got 10 questions for you on National Parks. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. This is a great study aid for your weekly trivia night. If you play with a squad somewhere at a brewery in the world, and you're like, hey, we need some extra practice, everybody can get together on an off trivia night, and you could play this one. Or you can just listen to it throughout the week in your car, uh, in your ears, Uh, on your speaker, on your phone while you're walking around, if you're one of those weirdos. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. And uh, this whole week is road trip week. So if you're on a road trip right now and you found this podcast for the very first time, email me, ryanbuds at gmail.com. I'll send you and everyone in your car some cool swag for being some new listeners. Uh, But you have to be on a road trip and you have to email me and say, it's our first time listening. And here's what we got out of it. Uh, email ryanbuds at gmail.com and I'll send you some cool stuff. Today's episode, all about national parks, which we've done for lots of custom birthday podcast episodes uh, in in recent years. People always seem to request that one, probably because they're on road trips and they find this show. Um, And we've also done at least one or two other full episodes on national parks, but these are all brand new questions. So hopefully you have fun with them. Before we get there, we've got our warm-up categories game. The letter is T, and we have states, musical instruments, and Olympic events. Listen for my three T answers for states, musical instruments, and Olympic events at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day about coffins, specifically coffin torpedoes. If that doesn't entice you, I don't know what will. We're warmed up, we're ready, and we're diving in to National Parks Trivia. Here we go. It's National Parks Trivia. Question number one. Ribbon Falls in Yosemite is nine times taller than what other famous falls? Number one. Ribbon Falls in Yosemite is nine times taller than what other famous falls? Number two. One of the hottest temperatures on Earth was recorded in 1913 in Death Valley National Park. Was it 110, 126, or 134 degrees? Number two. One of the hottest temperatures on Earth was recorded in 1913 in Death Valley National Park. Was it 110, 126, or 134? Number three, Mather Point and Yavapi Observation Station are sites to see at what national park? Number three, Mather Point and Yavapi Yavapi Observation Station are sites to see at what national park? Number four, emerging about 160 feet above the surface of Crater Lake, a 300-foot island is known as the Phantom what? Number four, emerging about 160 feet above the surface of Crater Lake, a 300-foot island is known as the Phantom what? Number five was Kobuk Valley National Park, established in 1950, 1980, or 2000. Number five was Kobuk Valley National Park, established in 1950, 1980, or 2000. Number six is Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota or South Dakota. Number six is Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North or South Dakota. Number seven, which state, one of the original 13 colonies, has a movement called No National Park to try and get one established? Number seven, which state, one of the original 13 colonies, has a movement called No National Park to try and get one established? Number eight, in Sequoia National Park, standing at 275 feet tall and over 36 feet in diameter at its base, the much-beloved General Blank Tree has earned the title of world's largest tree measured by volume. General blank, fill in the blank. Number nine, what forenamed explorer discovered the dry Tortugas in the summer of 1513? Number nine, what forenamed explorer discovered the dry Tortugas 
in the summer of 1513. Number 10, in what state can you visit Arches National Park? In what state can you visit Arches National Park? And your bonus question to close out National Park Trivia for today on Road Trip Week. For two points, Yellowstone is home to 500 active what? Yellowstone is home to 500 active what? Those are all your questions on National Parks. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to National Parks. Let's see how you did cruising around the U.S. and more on your road trip week. Number one, Ribbon Falls in Yosemite is nine times taller than Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Number two, one of the hottest temperatures on Earth was recorded in 1913 in Death Valley National Park. It was 134 degrees, if you can believe it. Number three, Mather Point and Yap. Yavapai Observation Station. I think I said that three different ways in the question and now a third time. Our sites to see at what national park? Grand Canyon. National Park, Grand Canyon. Number four, emerging about 160 feet above the surface of Crater Lake, a 300-foot island is known as the Phantom Ship. Looks like a big old ship. Number five was Kobuk Valley National Park, established in 1950, 1980, or 2000. It was back in 1980. Number six is Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North or South Dakota. That's North Dakota. Went there for the first time in the last uh, nine months or so. Not much uh, where I was at. Number seven, which state was one of the original 13 colonies and has a movement called No National Park to try and get one established? Delaware. Delaware, the first state. Number eight in Sequoia National Park, standing 275 feet tall, we have General Sherman, the General Sherman tree, much beloved, largest tree measured by volume. Number nine, what four named explorer discovered the dry tortugas in the summer of 1513? Juan Ponce de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon. And number 10, in what state can you visit Arches National Park? Utah. Utah. Number 11, Yellowstone is home to 500 active what? That would be geysers, geysers. That is our quiz for today on national parks. Yesterday, we had one called On the Road. So if you missed that one, you can kick off your, uh, not kick off your week, but you can continue your week with our kickoff of Road Trip Week with our episode called On the Road. So go check that out, all to do with the word road. Your fact of the day is Victoria Coffin torpedoes were a system of triggers that detonated an explosion of lead balls if the coffin lid was opened after burial to deter grave robbers. So you go to steal some old lady's necklace and you end up dead, maybe in a coffin nearby because you get uh, destroyed with lead balls. So coffin torpedoes sounds very uh, home alone trappy. Your fact of the day was on uh, coffins, but your uh, categories wrap up here. It's on the letter T. And for states, I will say Tennessee, the one I'm in right now. And musical instruments, a trumpet, and Olympic events, triathlon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.